Welcome, Chicago Park uh -huh. District. Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Avena, and um, today we are going to be painting old records. For the purpose of this workshop, we will be using cardboard. Um, all right, let's get started. So to start with, you will need something to measure your own circle. This is literally from the coffee container in my studio. You will need a piece of cardboard, a pair of scissors. I have India ink. I've got white paint. I also have a Sharpie marker. I've got my spread of paints, so whatever kind of paint you want. You can use acrylic. It could be watercolor, um, whatever is accessible at home. I have my paint brushes and water, and I always like having paper towels on hand. Trace around. Now we have our circle and it is ready to paint. I'm just going to start by adding a healthy amount of paint. Remember that the more paint you add, the more intense the hue and color you're going to get. And I like adding white to change up the intensity. And of course, don't forget to use your water as that will make it easier to drag the paint. I love playing around with my colors and mixing them. So I say choose your own adventure and have fun with this. So here's another example I started the other day, and that's when the paint is all finished and dry. I'm going to use just a little bit of my India ink to sort of follow these natural lines of the paint. And it's okay if I don't necessarily follow the lines. start by creating a black border so as you can see I'm following the natural lines and I'm just spotting the differences in my color wheel and my little and I'm gonna play around with them by following the lines inside and maybe I follow the actual paint lines which are more straight curved and I can sort of think about creating my own based on things I've seen so for example I love nature I love leaves I love the grass and so maybe I decide that I want to create veins of a leaf these lines in with different colors of paint. I could be done with it right here or I could continue depending on how much time I have. So I think that's pretty well done. There's my finished product. So as you can see, I already started highlighting the parts that I wanted to highlight with white. Um, and today maybe I'm feeling light blue. The other day I felt very light white plus black for my border and today I want to paint something different on this. And then think about different types of colors you could use. I like coming in with black to give spaces different variation. So if I have an area that is super light, I love coming in with a darker color. of paint and water then it will take longer.
That's it for now. Please like us on our Instagram page at Young Cultural Stewards. Please share your beautiful creations in our comments or on our Instagram page as well. Thanks for watching.